Jamie Drysdale of the Erie Otters from Toronto, Ontario, and I'm a defenseman. How about Jamie Drysdale, the Erie defenseman? I didn't even give him a shot to make it to camp, but Dale Hunter thought, you know what? We're going to give this guy an opportunity, and an opportunity he took advantage. Great skater, Erie Otters. Right shot deep. The Erie Otter offensive defenseman, my goodness. Elite skater, his agility, his edge work, his flat out speed, and he uses it both offensively and defensively. Uh, no doubt he's going to be a top pair defenseman. His biggest strength is his mind, his IQ, the hockey sense. The number one thing that sticks out about this young man is his skating ability. Elite feet. Further on Drysdale, maybe the smoothest skater in the uh, the entire draft this year. Welcome you back in on Aaron Clooney here, three on three. They look to find Drysdale. A burst of speed. Drysdale scores! Jamie Drysdale in overtime. Again, Drysdale left side. Holds, wheels behind it. Look at this. Gets in front. They score. It's Swankler. Oh, what a setup by Jamie Drysdale. Drysdale with Max Sugovich, two on one. Drysdale right wing side, drags to the front. Drysdale, hey! Shouts and scores! Jamie Drysdale was drafted fourth overall in the 2018 OHL Priority Selection from the Toronto Marlboros by the Erie Otters. The Erie Otters are extremely pleased to select for their first round selection from the Toronto Marlboros, Jamie Drysdale. That 2018 Marlies team was full of names that current OHL fans know so well, including Will Cooley, Riley Piercy, Leighton Moore, and Reed Vallad. Jamie looks back fondly on the memories he made with that team in that 2018 season, which saw them go all the way to the OHL Cup semifinal. Yeah, like you said, I played for the Marlies, which was uh, the best seven years of my life. I, I couldn't be more grateful for that. And just the guys, the guys that were in the room with me, the guys that were on my team, I'm still buddies, really close buddies with the um, majority, if not all of them. So, I, you know, it was, it was an unbelievable experience to go through it with them. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't change a thing, especially when it's over. Uh, you really realize how better sweet it is and how uh, how close you are as a group. So I think that it was just a, a moment that, that brought us all together even more. Drysdale is an elite skater, incredibly agile, with outstanding hockey sense and offensive instincts. The top-ranked defenseman entering the NHL draft also showed well on the international stage, making Canada's World Junior team at just 17 years old and showing scouts and fans alike his ability to elevate his game on the biggest stage. I think I'm a defenseman who uh, likes to play both ends of the ice. I think that in the end that's the, that's the type of guy I want to be, a two-way guy. And I think I'm building towards that uh, that side of the game, so I think that um, whenever I can jump up into play, help create offense, then uh, I'll do so, and uh, vice versa if I'm... Um, if I see a play in the D zone, whether I can make a read on a person or, or a player and just to try and cut plays early, I think I'm there, there to do that as well. Drysdale used the World Juniors to showcase his full skill set, one he models after Maple Leafs defenseman Morgan Riley. Jamie doesn't play like a 17-year-old. He handles himself physically well, and his decision-making is strong. I think a guy I'd compare my game to right now is um, maybe a Morgan Riley. I think that that's a guy that I like to watch a lot of being a Maple Leafs fan. So I think that um, I really like the way he plays both ends of the ice and how he can still produce as, as well as he does. So I think I really like to watch him play, how versatile he is, using his skating, his, uh, his uh, hockey sense, and just all his uh, aspects of his game to his, uh, to his best and to his ability. So I think I really like how he plays and I've watched quite a bit of him as well. Blue line at the point, Drysdale takes it from goal line, left side, shoots one, scores! Jamie Drysdale cuts the lead in half on the power play. With all the strong praise for his offensive play, standing at just 5'11", Jamie knows the play in his own zone is where he needs to improve the most. Somewhere scouts and hockey executives have really noticed a step forward this past season, given his skating ability and hockey IQ. Something I think I need to improve on for sure is um, my back, my D zone. I think that that's a that's a big thing that I want. That I want want to get better. I think uh, more specifically, just um, uh, net front play in our own end, uh, just uh, boxing guys out. Obviously, not being the biggest guy. I think just getting body position early, um, restricting players from getting to the net um, as much as possible. And I think just. Uh, Honestly, just my positioning in the D zone, it'll allow me to, um, I guess, um, hold off bigger guys more more likely than whether um, getting them to the net, letting them get to the net and just being stopped there. So I think that that's probably the biggest thing I want. 
Known as a really great guy, what's the one thing Jamie wishes more people knew about him? That he's really competitive. Team success is important to him. He hates to lose and has always been a competitive driven spirit. I think just how competitive I am. I think that um, it's the nature of the game, so everyone who plays it is probably pretty competitive, but I think I, I take that to a bit of a different level. I think I, I hate to lose, and um, I guess everyone does, but I really do, and I really take it to heart when you lose. Or, um, um, yeah, I'm just a competitive guy with it in anything I do, so I'll try and find a way to win in everything, whether it's something as little as little as an argument or something, a card game, any, anything like that, not just hockey. So, pretty competitive guy and I, I like to have fun with it, but I also I'll, uh, do my best to win in all aspects of uh, in whatever we do. Erie's head coach, Chris Hartsburg, was drafted in the NHL entry draft as well, being selected in the seventh round in the 99 draft by the New Jersey Devils. Jamie has enjoyed his time under him as he's relatable, easy to approach, and someone who we can discuss all nuances of the game with. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I love our team. I'm a big fan of his. I think, uh, I think he's uh, he's the one who instilled the the way we need to play and the way that uh, the way that we're successful is when we when we play the way he wants to. And I think that that's an undeniable statement. In which, uh, like I said, playing hard, being hard to play against. I think uh, just being responsible, just all the little things that will lead us to uh, winning games. And you know, when we do that, we we seem to win games, and when we don't, it, it maybe doesn't work that way. So I think, uh, um, you know what, when, he, when we uh, do what he says, it, it works in our favor. So I think he's a great guy, great coach, and very approachable guy. So I think, um, I think he runs the team really well. Jamie Drysdale has been a highly touted prospect for a long time. He can't wait for draft day, and knows exactly who he'll be thanking the moment he hears his name called. Mom and Dad are definitely going to be one and two. Um, I think just everything they've done for me and just everything um, honestly from the day I was born until now has led up to me being in the position I am and um, you know I couldn't thank them enough for everything they've done it's just unbelievable the sacrifices they've made for me to to do what I to do what I love to do so I think that they'll definitely be one and two um, following that there's there's countless people that I can, can thank to be honest but um, yeah so they'd, they'd be one and two